Hey guys, welcome back to this channel. Since I still regularly get questions about my Accutane journey, I thought it would be interesting to do a one and a half year post Accutane video to answer some of these questions, but also to tell you how my skin has been doing. And um, yeah, if one Accutane treatment, one round uh, was enough for me to get rid of my acne that I had been struggling with for more than 10 years or so. So if you clicked on this video, you probably already know what Accutane is, but if you don't, the short version is that Accutane is a systemic medication, so it's a pill. We don't actually know how it works, but the basic understanding is that it sort of does something to the way that your cells uh, reproduce and kind of shed their upper layer, um, which is the root cause of acne that um, you kind of get like too much skin cell shedding and the skin cells also kind of get kind of stuck in the follicles, in the hair follicles, and then just the whole thing kind of inflames and forms this big nasty pimple. And Accutane is a medication that you can take for a limited time, um, usually until you've taken like enough of a cumulative dose, uh, and that is supposed to get rid of your acne. So for me, this worked quite well. I took it for like nine months or so. Uh, between six and nine months. Uh, I was on, I think, 40 milligrams most of the time. I should actually really rewatch my old videos because uh, it's been a while, so I kind of forgot some of the details. And Accutane is known to have uh, quite some side effects, so my skin got really dry, I got sunburned super easily, I had uh, joint and bone pain, but all of these side effects eventually went away after I discontinued the medication. Um, it took a couple of weeks, uh, maybe a couple of months for some of the side effects to go away, but now I just feel normal again. So like the big question is of course, uh, did it work? Uh, did it work long term? And I would say, generally speaking, yes. I My skin has definitely changed for the better. Um, actually just the way that my skin sort of behaves, you know, how greasy it gets, um, how much moisture it retains has um, changed quite substantially through Accutane. So it's not as greasy anymore. It's generally but like generally the hydration level is uh, seems a bit better and these changes have led to me getting way 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 fewer pimples you might have already picked up on me saying fewer um because my acne is i think not a hundred percent gone um i sometimes still get really tiny pimples but it's definitely like you can, it doesn't even compare to how bad it was before I started Accutane and certainly not how bad it was uh, in my teens. So I'm definitely very grateful for that, but I was still a bit concerned about um, some pimples coming back. So I went back to my dermatologist about, I would say six to nine months ago. And she said that uh, that can sometimes happen. And I also asked her if I should basically do another round of Accutane and she said, not at the moment, um, so she just prescribed me uh, this cream here. It's basically just tretinoin and clindamycin, so topical tretinoin and clindamycin, which is an antibiotic. I take this every day. Um, I'm on my second tube now. And if I do that consistently with a proper skincare routine, there's no issue. There might be like one pimple every month, like one really tiny one. But honestly, I've also just um, gotten into the habit of using like these little tiny thingies, like these little tiny needles you can get um, to just stab it and um, disinfect it afterwards. And that seems to have been going fine. I know you're not really supposed to do it, but I'm also not going to pay like 40 euros to have a, um, a beautician or an esthetician do that. That's just crazy. So I've been able to kind of regulate that uh, pretty well, of course, together with proper skincare routine, which um, I have basically maintained since I um, started Accutane. I'm pretty much still doing the same thing. So I'm cleaning my face with this uh, La Roche-Posay hydrating cleanser. Uh, I do that actually only once a day. I only do it in the evenings, in the mornings. I nowadays just go to the gym and I just kind of let the water in the shower just rinse my face off a bit, but I don't do like a full skincare cleansing routine in the morning um, that has dried out my skin too much and that also caused me to have a few more pimples so I stopped doing that so in the evenings uh, clean my face and then sometimes maybe like uh, twice a week or so I will use this 
ridiculously expensive peeling but it actually works and that's the terrible part like this um i actually won this at the place where i did um where i had my ipl done to get rid of some of the redness on my face this little thing costs like 80 euros it's crazy but it pretty much lasts me a whole year so you know it's in the end it's not that much per month but still it's uh, it hurts I know it's a physical exfoliant, uh, they're supposed to be terrible for you, but for me it's been working out quite well. It smells pretty nice, it's just this uh, like bluish sort of grainy paste. And yeah, just like twice a week I will just use the tiniest amount, I will just clean my face, I will use the tiniest amount of this to just very gently exfoliate the, the top layer of my skin. And uh, that's also been working pretty well. And then, of course, the trusty CeraVe in the top. The most amazing moisturizer ever. Yeah, I also just use that um, every day, um, just before going to bed. Um, and that's pretty much it. And I really have to be quite consistent with this routine for my skin to not uh, develop more pimples. But I think it's really worth the effort. So I think in that sense, what Accutane did for my skin was just to sort of um, push like the reset button and just get it to calm down quite a lot rather than just getting rid of all of my acne. It's gotten it down to such a level that I can manage it. Um, and that's honestly quite fine by me. Some of you guys have also been wondering if I still have some scarring from the purging that you experienced with Accutane. So purging is the phase where you start taking Accutane and it kind of starts to work in your body, starts to work in your skin, and you just get like a lot of pimples at the same time. Um, and yeah, it's just like everything's kind of being pushed out. Actually, I don't think I have experienced any scarring. The only scarring I have is from like the crazy outbreaks that I had um, when I was a teenager, so you can see it on my temples, um, also here quite a bit, and that's probably never going to go away. Um, I had some microneedling done a couple of years ago that didn't really do anything, um, so I've just decided to live with it. Um, but in terms of any Accutane-related scarring or even hyperpigmentation, no, that has all gone pretty much. But I also have pretty light skin, so if you have a different skin tone, that uh, might be different for you. But for me, it's been completely fine. So I think all in all, I'm pretty happy I did Accutane. I would, if you are struggling with the same issue, struggling with acne that just won't respond to things like uh, topical tretinoin or different or whatnot, I would definitely recommend you to um, talk to a dermatologist about Accutane and whether it might be for you. Um, please don't take it uh, without professional supervision because it is quite a, it can be quite a heavy medication. Um, you need blood work done, etc. So you need proper supervision. But I think it can be very beneficial in the end, and I'm very happy I did it. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any other questions uh, regarding Accutane, just feel free to um, post them post them in the comments down below, and I will be happy to answer them. And I'll see you in the next video.